Well, hello folks, my name's Ian, and uh, scrap gods. Well, you know I've made a bit of space in this shed, tiny bit of space. So what happens when you make space? The scrap gods give you even more. And I'm not talking about this, and I'm not talking about this little bit of stuff here, with a bit of angle iron, uh, some cable, light fittings, homemade trolley type of thing and a gate so I'll wait but I've had to completely empty the car of everything because we're off out to look at another skip so it was only a short drive away so on the way to work this morning I saw this skip or a dumpster as you Americans call it and uh, something caught my eye that was eight hours ago so on my way home I had a Come home the same way as I go to work. The skip's still here. So, uh, let's have a look. We've given a little knock on the door earlier. And they said, yeah, take what you want. So, I'm in the car. It's now a massive offence to even have a phone in your car while you're... Uh, if you're driving, so I'm not driving. I've no keys in. I've got the handbrake on. So, uh, what did we see? Well... We saw a radiator poking out. So let's see what else is in there, because I spot some brass. Ah, so it's a central heating radiator. TRV valve on, so they've left the brass on. Oh, we've got a radiator, got another radiator, another radiator, another radiator, another radiator, another radiator. Oh, ah, we got some heavy iron back boilers. Ain't going to be much copper on this. Little bit of brass feed fittings. So it's a matter of what can we get in the car? Winner, winner. And only a short while later, the skip is looking decidedly empty. Uh, good chap that I am. I've even flat, flat packed the boxes for them that was in there. And all we've got to do now is to get my chariot home. As you can see, I've got a little bit of an overhang there. Unfortunately, I don't have to drive very far. What a terrible, terrible point of uh, knees. He's uh, a broken nail there. Look at that. That is going to cause me some grief. Well, we made it back home. Uh, couldn't drive all that way with the... Uh, the, the hatch up. So I kind of jig jury rigged using this cable off me uh, air compressor charger. So let's not to bother about it getting pulled so much as uh, it fl flirted up and breaking my glass. Right. Well, obviously I can't go to the old anvil yard tomorrow with that, like that. So they're going to have to come off. I'm going to have to angle around them in half. Take off all the brassy goodness. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. And uh, on the way, as I pulled out the street, <laughs> one of the local lads was pulling in. He spots me and we had a little chat. Because he always goes to the old anvil yard. And uh, he said, nothing I can do. He says, I'm full anyway. So he, he, he's, his greedy boards were full to the rafters. Right, Ian, scrap gods, giving me some grief just because I've made some space. Let you know tomorrow, what did it weigh? What did it pay? Whew, that was warm work. What was warm work? I'll show you in a minute. Before I go any further, I suppose I should say, today, 28th of April, it's our 38th wedding anniversary. That woman in there, she's loved me for 40 years. She deserves a medal. What she doesn't deserve is this on her wedding anniversary night. So, joys, oh, absolute joys. Look at that muck. This is what's... Uh, you see what happens when you leave your radiators. Uh, you don't have any uh, inhibitor in them. 
the, the water reacts with the iron that's inside of uh, the radiators. Of course, there's no oxygen because it's uh, anaerobic. Yes, uh, anaerobic. Uh, so that's why it doesn't go uh, red, rusty. You get this black iron oxide flood. And some, I mean, I mean, this is flood. Uh, and this is what decreases the, the efficiency of your radiators. You know, these have obviously been on a long, long time. Uh, and this is the main problem though, is when it rusts through and get the pinholes. It's, it's not that the water leaks out, it's this black iron oxide that leaks out. And this stains everything. You get it on your carpet, it's not coming off. Uh, I get, oh, I don't know, it's in between all the flags as well. See, so, uh, every time I go past through it, it's washing more out, so that means every time it rains, more's gonna come out. Anyway, I'll get some bleach on this afterwards. I did tell you in my last video that I just vacuumed this drain out, so I'll have to, drain, I'll have to do it again. Uh, I'm carrying on. I've not gone in yet. I don't think she's seen any of that. Uh, she'll never know. Will she? She'll never know. You know, bit, bit of bleach, bit of brushing. Jobs are good. The only thing is, as long as she doesn't go behind the bins, then I stand a chance. Right, that's it for tonight. Tomorrow, I've got to strip this lot, take the brass off, and uh, get it in. Later, folks. See you in the morning. Well, if you can see me, change of plan. As you can see, it's it's gone dark now, so uh, I'll uh, upload this video, and I'll see you after the yard weigh-in tomorrow. <laughs>